Let's teach you guys how to do a dumbbell pullover correctly. What is up? It's your boy Johnny Street via BB Pro Mr. Telek. It is welcome back to another episode of Chain With Me. Guys, today I'm gonna to break down very, very easily for you to understand how to do a dumbbell pullover. I'm gonna do it a couple different ways because I see people do them a few different ways. I'm gonna give you guys the best way to do it that you're gonna to connect to it and then add it to your back day or your chest day. Anyway, guys, no further ado, keep your eyes glued to the screen, your ears glued to the speakers. Let's learn some dumbbell pullover sh All right, so this is what we're doing, guys. First of all, we're just gonna set this thing up. I don't do anything at all with this dumbbell until I show you guys how to do this without the dumbbell. So a couple ways that people would do this. You can do it laying on the bench like this. That's fine. And you can also do it like this on the bench. That's fine. Now I wanna explain this one first because for the most part when people do it this way, they do it wrong. A few times they'll do things where their neck's like hanging too far up the back and they don't feel comfortable here and the hips are doing whatever so I'm gonna go through step by step of how to set up for this. Let's just say we're gonna, we're not gonna use a dumbbell, but we're gonna put it where it needs to be. All right, this is how I do it. All right, here you go. Leave it there. Okay, so when I'm on this bench, so we're gonna pretend the bell's here, I'm moving. What we wanna do is basically set up as if you're doing a glute bridge or I would say hip thrust, barbell hip thrust on the bench. Right, you would probably be like so. You want your the thoracic part of your spine, your T-spine. You need to be like right on, right? And it's fine to be like this. And then you want to make sure your feet, as if you were doing one, they'd be just like this. And your hips will be up and your, and your glutes are engaged. You're pushing through the floor and you're strong from here. Then you're gonna reach and get the dumbbell and basically from here, the dumbbell's gonna sit on top of you. You're gonna let the weight push you down. And you're gonna leave it locked in there. It's gonna, it's gonna naturally just push your shoulders down. And then you're go, all you're gonna do is you're gonna reach back. You're gonna make sure your hands stay like this and they're gonna reach at the back. So dumbbells in our hands like this, we've cupped it over and it's flat and we're pulling back and we're reaching back until we're like on the dumbbell like this. You see how my hands are? Hands are just like this. Now, the key to get your carries will work a little more is where you place the pressure on the belt. So to give you guys an easy idea, it doesn't matter how you do it. So pretend that you're looking from underneath me. Your hands are gonna go like this and it's gonna cup it, right? It's gonna, it's gonna hit the, the dumbbell bars me right in there, like hard. While it's in there, I want you guys to look at my hands. My hands are going to be pressing like this. Now watch my hands. I'm gonna, I wanna put pressure on the outsides of my hands while maintaining squeezing the dumbbell handle. Now watch when I put pressure on the outside of my hand. See it naturally externally rotates. And if you just do this guys, literally take a dumbbell, put it on the bench like this, put your hands on like this, sit flat like reach. I want you to reach on it so you're here, your shoulders are, out, are basically like extended. And then I want you to pressure the outside hands to be pushed on the dumbbell. You just practice doing this and you'll feel your teres turning on. If you watch how I put pressure, watch what happens to my lats. My teres, my lats, they start to really engage. All I'm doing is I'm trying to put pressure on the outsides of my hands and then gripping. And then my thumbs, this pressure here, I have pressure here and pressure here and it's doing this. Now, once I get my, I'm active, much like doing squats where we're just trying to make sure our knees are aligned with our toes. All I'm doing is I'm activating it just enough to keep my elbows straight. And that's how we're gonna go. Now let's turn this thing right side upside, right side down. So it doesn't matter if you're doing it perpendicular, that means like this way, with a bench, or you do it parallel with the bench. You're gonna have the exact same activation throughout your body. So I'm gonna do it perpendicular with the bench. I'm gonna sit myself down and get my, like a lot of my shoulders, like my back on here. Right, it's almost like my head can kind of stay like this if I need to. But it's not going as high as it needs to either. I'm not doing this. It's basically neutral from here, right? Now, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna put one hand underneath it like this. Any, any kettlebell fans out there who've done Turkish get-ups, I'll show you how we're doing this. You'll understand. I'm gonna put my hand under like this, flat. I reach my other hand across, flat. So you see how I reach, my shoulder comes up, my hips are coming up, and then I'm gonna get my elbows and everything tight. And I'm gonna roll and push up with my hand, my right hand and my left hand. Let's do that again. On the way down. Underneath, underneath. Right, so from here, plate, hands under the plate. 
Other hand reaches over top. Shoulders rolled up. I tuck my elbow in tight and then I roll my hip back down, my left hip back down, putting pressure, pulling right up from my right and my left hand. And then now letting the weight relax into my shoulders, just letting it push it right down. I'm already depressed naturally. Now from here, my hips, remember my hips are up, right into the heels, toes on the floor too, hips are up. And then we're basically let our head relax a bit. It's here on the back of the bench. My shoulders are on the bench and we're gonna reach this thing back, putting pressure, remember pressure's gonna be sitting on outside of the dumbbell, putting pressure back, opening up, reaching back, hips are staying up. And as far as you can go, doesn't matter where you can go, it goes far as you can go and keep flat here. And then from here, pulling up with the outside of your hand, pulling over. Think about scooping it, scooping it out and up. Going back, reaching back, hands are flat, weights on the outsides of my hands. Now I'm pulling in, up, and shoulders through right to the beating part. Don't have to pull here. Hey, what's good, people? You're struggling to keep up with your routine or you feel like you're just spinning the wheels? Well, you came to the right place. Check out the link in the description below for my customized one-time training or nutrition plans. I'm also offering online coaching with weekly check-ins and unlimited contact with myself. And look, if you don't want to dive in right away and you have some questions, book yourself a video call with myself. And at the end of the consult, I deduct off any package that you pick. Anyway, guys, let's get back to the show. Okay, so setup's going to be a little different from this part just because we're not going to be rocking over. What we're basically going to do is treat this just like a dumbbell press. You put on one of the legs, whatever you want. Control both hands. We're basically going to rock back same way like this. So whatever side you're comfortable with, I'm going to set my hands up where they're supposed to be. Then I'm going to reset them when I'm, when I'm set. So from here, kick it back right to my chest. I'm going to press the weight up. Set myself here. Let the weight push me down. Same thing. Put pressure on the outside of your hands and then Back. Make sure you keep the pressure on the outside of the hands the entire time. That's gonna help you guys not bend at the elbows. In both ways, whether you do it this way or the other way, we don't want this to happen because that becomes a tricep exercise more than it is a Terry's lat exercise. One of the biggest cues for you is gonna make sure you keep your chest up the entire time, as if I'm pressing. Look at this as if we're pressing. We're still pressing. So you wanna make sure you keep yourself in that same posture while we do the movement. And still active from floor to core, all the way through. Find a weight that you can control from top to bottom, bottom to top. And if your mobility only allows you to get to here, that's fine. Keep working on your mobility and eventually you'll be here, then here, then here, and then here. So when you're doing this, guys, it's very similar to, it's like basically the exact same thing you're doing with a straight arm pull down. Translate that to this, if something if that's hard for you to do, you might be able to connect this better and be better at doing straight arm pull downs. But when it comes to the last thing we're gonna talk about, which is breathing, if you really wanna get the best out of this, take good breaths while you're going back. Basically gonna be going from here, and then what that inhale does, it obviously gives you oxygen, but expands your chest. It opens it, everything up. It makes your lats, you're basically tightening by getting all the air in your lungs. You're pushing the ribs out, which is putting more tense pressure on the lats, expanding the lats even more. It's, it's increasing the range of motion by just being, and then pulling right and breathe through it don't just like try to keep a good calm breath when you're doing it the reason why this is kind of mixed with the back exercise i mean with the chest exercise and this was an argument that was going on so i'm going to review it again and stay true to what i was saying the chest muscle when it in terms of the entire pec its main job is shoulder adduction internal rotation and it does flexion and it does extension people are very pedantic it can't do extension from here because it's on the opposite side. So anything extension from here is going to be tricep and lats. We're going to do this. When your arm is in a flex position, your chest helps with shoulder extension, pulling it back down. It's on the same side. So when we're doing this exercise, you feel it in your chest. 
because your chest is helping with pulling the weight back over from a flex position. Meaning, if your, if your hands are like this, whew, that seems a little, if your hands are up like this, all right, this is in a flex position. For it to return back this way under a load, the chest helps with extending it. Once it gets down to its side, it is no longer gonna work by do going backwards. It does not do extension this way, obviously. But that's why people mix it up and, and think that this is a chest exercise. You are using your chest to aid with that actual movement. What you wanna do is make sure that we don't go fully over to here where we're actually working the chest pulling over. We're only bringing it from here all the way to here. Don't bring the weight to here. So for example, we are already set up. We don't want to go from here to here because that now is a chest exercise. Right here, if I was standing up straight, it would still be in a flex position. Right now, from here to here, there's no extension necessarily happening in a way. The kind of is, but I want to get you guys confused. So think about from here to here, parries, lats are helping pull it down. From here to here, that chest pops in. So do not bring it to here. And do not bend your elbows because it becomes a master chest exercise. This is a dope chest exercise. But we're not doing that. We're doing dumbbell pullovers like this. So where do we put this? Well, you can program this at the beginning of your back day or at the end of your back day or even in the middle. It doesn't really matter. Either way, what matters is you do it the best way that you find that you connect to it the best while using these tips for doing it parallel with the bench or perpendicular with the bench. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time guys, you know how it is. Iron Sharp is Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep gym chasing. Peace.